charmers. The magic charm chase. It was a spectacular busy day at Hazel's house. Hazel's mother was Charmville's enchantress and everyone in town needed her help. Too many spells, too little time, she told Hazel as she ran off to cure a frog with hiccups. The enchantress's to-do list was getting bigger by the second. Hazel wanted to help her mom. I'll just make a copy of this list and go see Posy and Lavender, she said, to the charm house. Hazel's best friends, Lavender and Posy, met her at the charm house. We'd love to help you, said Lavender. But this list is going to take us forever, added Posy. Maybe with a normal wand, Hazel said with a twinkle in her eye. Lavender and Posy knew that look. Hazel had a plan. She wanted to supercharge her wand. We'll be finished with this list in no time, she said. Sparkle up, charmers. We've got work to do. Hokum locum, zippity zong, power up my wand extra strong. Hazel chanted the magic words. Soon, sparks were flying around the charm house. Looks like the spell worked, said Lavender. But then Hazel's wand began to spin and splutter and smoke. Snapdragons, cried Hazel. I think I broke my wand. The girls used their magic mirror to go onto Spellopedia. They looked up how to fix the wand. The charmers needed three ingredients. Fairy dust from Mount Sparklemore, a giant's toenails, and sparkles from a unicorn's horn. You have to touch a unicorn before it reveals itself, read Hazel. And we can't use our wands to collect ingredients, added Lavender. It wasn't going to be easy, but the little charmers were determined to get Hazel's magic back. It took the girls hours to get to Mount Sparklemore. Now all they had to do was scoop up some fairy dust. But every time Hazel took a step toward the mountain, a huge fairy mushroom popped up to block her path. They're here to protect Mount Sparklemore, said Posy, as she bounced on top of a mushroom cap. All that bouncing gave Hazel an idea. Follow me, charmers, she said, in five, four, three, two, one. The girls took a step together and a mushroom launched them up, up, up into the air. Soon they were bouncing all the way to the top of Mount Sparklemore. They sprinkled some fairy dust on Hazel's wand and then set off to find a giant. Luckily, Hazel knew where one lived. When the girls knocked on his door, a cranky voice told them to go away. You are one grumpy giant, Posy said. You'd be grumpy too if you couldn't sleep, he boomed as he slammed the door. That gave Posy an idea. She picked up her flute and began to play a lullaby. Soon the giant was yawning and stretching and heading for bed. The little charmers could sneak inside. As Posy played, the giant fell into a deep sleep. Now Hazel was ready to get to work. She climbed up to the top of the giant's bed and tugged at his giant sock. You need a giant bath, she moaned as she twisted the smelly sock into a rope. Hazel lassoed the giant's big toe, climbed up the sock rope, and snipped a bit of the giant's toenail. It was dirty work, but someone had to do it. Once the deed was done, it was time to get out of there before the big grump woke up. Two ingredients found, only one to go. Next, the little charmers had to find a unicorn in the forest of thorns and dragon lilies. The flowers were pretty, but it was very prickly work. This is one fashion unfriendly forest, said Lavender as she snagged her sleeve on a thorn for the millionth time. The girls looked and looked, but they didn't see a unicorn anywhere. The shy creatures weren't hiding under dragon lily petals or the forest thorny brambles. Hazel yawned. A magic quest without magic power sure is exhausting. You should stay here and rest, said Posy. We can look for the unicorn, added Lavender. Thanks, Hazel said as she sat down. I'll come help in a bit, I promise. What Hazel needed was a nap, but no matter how she twisted and turned, she couldn't seem to get comfortable. It feels like my head is on something, she said, and when she looked up, she discovered what it was. You're amazing, said Hazel. A unicorn, you're beautiful. 
The unicorn was soft like clouds or puppies. It let Hazel gather some sparkles from its horn. Now it's time to fix Hazel's wand. Hokum locum zippity zon. Ingredients combine and fix my wand. In a flash of light, Hazel's wand found its magic. She shot a sparkle into the air to call her friends. She couldn't wait to introduce them to her new unicorn friend. But when Posey and Lavender returned, the unicorn had vanished. Back at home, Hazel told her parents all about her day and her magical new friend. I'm so lucky I got to see a unicorn, she sighed. You really are, said her mother. That is very special magic. Special enough to help you with your to-do list? Hazel asked. I hope so, said her mom. It looks like it just got bigger. She took a closer look. Curing hiccups? Not that poor frog again. Hazel's dad winked. Not hick this hick time. Hazel laughed. A little magic could solve the trickiest and hickiest of problems. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified of new videos as soon as they come out. Thanks for joining me today and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.